up guys? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. My name is Annie. I welcome you to come into these tarot readings with an open heart, an open mind, and a desire to better yourself. This is optional advice or guidance meant to motivate you, empower you, inspire you, uh, and offer you confirmations on things that you are already thinking and feeling and sensing. If you don't resonate with the material that comes through, please push those messages aside. They may resonate for you at a later date, and they may not. Have faith it's going out to someone who needs to hear it, even if it is not you. Use your logic, your discretion, your discernment. Separate what is meant for you and what is not. Uh, I come at this with love and positivity, so please take that away here today. You are responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Let's try and have some fun uh, to get you some insightful messages. Check out that box below for the decks I use, how to contact me for a personal, as well as my social media links. Welcome to the tea party. Let's read your tarot cards. What's up, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? Timestamps are right down below. Uh, we're going to do Little Sips Mini Love Tarot. Let's start with Taurus. All right, let's talk about Taurus's person. Let's get three cards for Taurus's person. All right. All right. Okay, Taurus. So your person, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Um, so someone's thinking about wanting to continue to build with you. It's possible that someone's wanting to come in and make an offer to you. I'm sort of getting a shyness about their character. So if this is in fact brand new, it's probably someone who they're already in your network of uh, like your circle, your friends group, or your circle of like people you know at work or in some sort of club or like, you know, common interests. Someone who you maybe see, uh, it doesn't have to be on a daily basis, but here and there, someone's thinking about coming in, but I think they're sort of freaking... Um, themselves out there there yeah there's like a shyness or a nervousness about wanting to move move forward towards you and approach you with some sort of offer but this person likes you a lot and you make them laugh um, or, or vice versa this person may be quite a jokester this person may make you laugh uh, quite a bit um, so you do have your own card coming up here. So that very likely represents this person's trajectory towards you. The, I see them thinking about communicating with you and thinking about the idea of making an offer or more than likely wanting to work with you on something. It's almost like that's going to be their approach or their window into getting to know you or flirt with you is having a common goal or interest. So either a project team at work or some sort of sports club or hobby that you guys share. I see you working in a group of three or four, but slowly this person I think is going to come closer to you and want to work, um, you know, like the two of you guys together. So I don't want to say they're being sneaky about it, but essentially this person isn't going to come right out and profess their love to you. I see this person like uh, trying to get you to warm up to them slowly and cautiously. You might be dealing with like a cancer or a water sign or something like that. Uh, you may literally have another Taurus here too, if, if it doesn't just represent you. So possibly a Virgo as well. So what does the universe want you to know about this further? Let's get a few cards on Taurus. These are sticking out. All right. So there's a male air sign here that you may have already had a tower moment with and you had to walk away from. What a cool eight of pentacles. I, I do really like that card. So it seems like you might just be focused on your work right now. I don't know if you're necessarily... I, this could also be saying you may enjoy this person's company, but because you might work with them, that to you, Taurus, may be like off limits. It's almost like let's not mix, um, you know, what is that expression? Like... Um, like work and pleasure. I, I almost see you wanting to separate the two or not wanting to get involved with someone either at work or someone in your circle of friends because you you know that you're going to see them a lot either with other people. So I don't know if you're wanting to date in a more private setting or the idea that you don't want it to like spoil the waters of like this mutual common group that you have. <clears throat> So, but you do have a tower, so I'm curious what that is about. Let's go ahead and clarify that. Give me something on the tower, please. I, I don't think this is this person. I think this is someone else from your past. Again, whether you're male or female, it's very likely a male air sign that's still on your mind, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Of course, it doesn't have to be that, but that is coming through very strongly. And the thing is, I don't think you're with them. I think you experienced a tower moment with this person. And I'll be honest, Taurus, this doesn't have to be romantic. I'm reading it through the lens of romance, but this could be a sibling or a best friend. You had a falling out with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And something about that, I don't know if you have trust issues because of it or you're, or I don't know, I just sort of sense like energetically you're not really in this like mushy, gushy, lovey-dovey type of vibe, which I mean, you're ruled by planet Venus. Come on. <laughs> Our Tauruses should also be looking or always be looking to love, but no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. 
Uh, I'm not going to hold you to a different standard just because you're ruled by Venus. <laughs> what, is, what is this tower about? Yeah, someone deceived you, especially regarding money. There could have been some awkward financial deal at work where you felt like somebody took advantage of you or didn't give you what was owed to you. Someone could have taken your credit. Yeah, it seems like this person is very dodgy and sort of manipulative, but in a very sly way. So that could have you could have had some sort of uh, romantic relationship with someone you worked with, and I think you learned your lesson very strongly not to mix business and pleasure. There we go. That, that was the term I was looking for. And so the thing is, I think something new comes through with a totally different person. And there could also be a Libra involved here. Only I think something from the past, I don't necessarily think that you miss this person or still love them. I think they did you dirty and there's still like a gripe you have against them. Only you might be projecting that on to future romantic suitors, if that makes any sense. So I, I would just be cognizant of that. Um, can, for most of you, I don't think you're, you're still romantically attached to the one who you had a tower moment with, but some of you might be. So yeah, pay attention to the red flags. That's instantly what I got from this. So love me my air signs, but in this spread in particular, you have a tower and kind of a kind of a shysty looking air sign there. I got to be honest. And the fact that it came out with a, the card about red flags and, you know, not ignoring the weird things about that, you're right. You know, so I think you're done with this tower. I'm not anticipating it, but it's saying make sure you remember what caused that tower. Were you overgiving to someone? Were you being taken advantage of? Were you not uh, advocating for yourself? Or, you know, did you sense that there was something fishy, but you chose to give them the benefit of the doubt? Whatever that circumstance was, you don't have to suffer because of it anymore, but it's acknowledging, well, why did this happen? And are you repeating a cycle that you've already been through? So here's the thing, whatever tower moment that happened in your life, potentially with a coworker or a friend or whoever, I don't know, I just sort of get the impression they pulled the rug out from under you. Something beneficial does come out of that, but I don't think it comes in the form of that person. Uh, as I say, it's not instant karma of like, oh, well, this bad thing was done to me, so now they're gonna owe me this. I think something good comes to you, but it comes from a different source. And to be honest, I feel like it might actually be this, this new-ish person. Um, again, it could be another Taurus, a Libra, a Cancer, a Virgo. What, so the, my only issue with this, which I, I just feeling your vibe, right? It's incredibly frustrating when someone's interested in you, but they're not coming forward. It's like, well, what's holding things up here? It could be energetically you're still carrying kind of like a vibe of like, don't come near me because you went through something recently in your personal life or, or whatever happened where energetically you're still holding on to kind of some, some darker energy. So just be cognizant of that and like release it, right? Do some meditation, do some yoga, go for a jog, whatever, like clear your energy of some kind of just some, some uncomfortable thoughts you've been holding on to. I think you graduated from them. You don't need them anymore. You just need to take away the lessons you learned from that experience, right? But, you know, easily forgive yourself. I, I would even argue easily forgive other people doesn't mean you have to work with them again doesn't mean you have to love them anymore but yeah it's just you know <laughs> it's like you're punishing yourself when you're holding on to grudges it doesn't do you know the other person any good so anyway let's focus on this new person or some of you might currently be with this person or maybe in the early stages of dating them if that's the case i see you guys ascending together um it, this is a very spiritual person they're interested in you this could be someone who, who uh, your your sister, if, if for those who have sisters, whether you are male or female, someone your sister knows or someone your sister gets along with very well. Uh, it could be a friend of your sisters or something like that. You may have met them via your sister or whatever. It doesn't matter, your sibling. So this is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I like that. And then, so here's the thing. I, the, the, I sort of asked the reason they're not coming forward and you got the deception card. So someone in this uh, relationship is wearing a false mask. I think this is someone being overly cautious in coming towards you because they're worried that you're going to reject them. And the thing is, it's easier to not take the risk because they don't want to risk the friendship. It's almost like if this person starts to flirt with you or ask you out and you reject them, there's something about this group of people where you're still going to have to work with them. And I think it would be a sense of like shame and embarrassment if they, you know, made a move on you and you're like, oh my gosh, no. That's really what, what the deception card is coming through is that there's someone you already know, again, in like a circle of friends or a group or again, a sports class, something, something of the sort. You are, it's like you already know them, they already know you, but I don't think you, you necessarily view them as romantic, but I'm going to offer you this. You, if you are having a crush on someone in your kind of inner circle, but you don't think it's, it's matched, I wouldn't be so sure about that because there is sort of like a, there's like a dynamic here where I think these two people could come together and be really happy. But nobody's taking the, the first move. So maybe you should do that. I don't know if this makes sense to any of my Tauruses out there. And I mean, your card is here. So what would happen if Taurus were to make a move on the person that they're thinking about?
Knight of Wands, yeah, I, I like that. Knight of Wands shows off his his passion very easily. He he's, he likes to display his passion, his sense of adventure. He's a risk taker, so I think that would bode well. Will this person come forward to Taurus in the next month or so? Queen of Wands and King of Wands. Oh, okay, so. If this is indicating you guys working on some sort of creative endeavor, I think it's inevitable that you two are going to be working together exclusively, even if it's not romantic. So I almost think they're waiting for the dynamic to shift where you guys can be alone together. So if they, I'm not trying to make it creepy, but that way if they make a move on you and you reject them, it won't be like public humiliation. Do you know what I mean? For some of you, this could, because this is a divine pairing just because of their elements, the king and queen of wands, for some of you, uh, this could be saying that what somebody in this in this uh, relationship may already be with someone and that's the hesitation. So if you are getting a divorce from someone, maybe that's what this is, Taurus, or if your person is, that could be gumming up the works of you two coming together. But I still say I probably see you guys coming together, especially if you work together. That seems like eventually, again, you guys are going to like ascend and, and possibly build a, a relationship, a life together. But Three of Pentacles could indicate that there's maybe a little bit of third party stuff going on. It's very possible, Taurus, you may be crushing on someone who's already married or somebody who's already married is crushing on you, in which case you probably have no idea because it's like you assume that they're off um, off limits or, you know, you know, you can't venture into that territory. And here's the thing. I'm not suggesting you do. I am not a proponent of get yourself involved in third party stuff. Cause, yeah, because it leads to shady business. I would wait till, you know, things are clear where somebody can go in and make their move. But yeah, I don't know. To be honest, now that I'm looking at Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, it's like there's the married couple and the the other one coming in. So there there may be an element of third party here. And if it's not infidelity, it's the idea that there's too many people in the mix and this person is trying to... It's like they just want a moment of your time where the whole group isn't watching. I, I know that's a little bit vague. That's just the, the message that I keep getting. This could even be a spiritual group. Again, it could be like a yoga meditation group, something like that, a church group, a Bible group, a study group group or whatever it is there is a spiritual aspect to it and I mean you're showing up here so you're you're definitely already in this in this network this band of people maybe it's a music group something like that um yeah that's what I got for you what I feel like I didn't give you much that to work with it's ten of wands okay Somebody needs to wrap out a cycle. Either you need to release your ex or this person needs to get a divorce because there could be deception regarding the fact that they're already kind of with someone, but they're still putting the moves on you. I have to be honest, though. Overall, I do like your person's energy. I don't love it if they're flirting with you and they're married, but the thing is that might be on its way out. If they're not already in the process of divorce or a breakup, I feel like they are going to be very soon because they have eyes for you. Um... Yeah, a lot of, lot of uh, artistic cards, filmmakers, painters, poets, musicians, uh, any type of like um, a skilled craft or, or sewing, costume making, something you do physically with your hands where your hands are very active, uh, you know, uh, pottery, sculpting, clay, uh, stencil work, uh, something, yeah, something very artistic, that Venus energy. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you. Um, let's go ahead and move on to our fellow Earth sign friends. I was about to say the Capricorns. Should we do Capricorn next? I guess we will. We'll end with Virgo. Usually I end with Capricorn, but okay. <laughs> we'll do we'll do Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn's love life. Capricorn, what's up? How you been? How you guys doing? To the December Capricorns, happy birthday. But to the January ones too, I'm not going to leave you out. Happy birthday to you all. <laughs> early birthday, early birthday. All right, tell me about Capricorn's person. Let's get some clear, concise messages. The person Capricorn is thinking of, let's get them some messages in their love life. All right, so the Queen of Swords and the Princess of Cups. Okay, so someone who you uh, who may be a little bit cold or I don't think cold is the right word, reserved. They don't uh, they're not overly emotional. They're not displaying their emotions, you know, with wild abandonment, right? There's a sense of there's they're a little bit withdrawn. The thing is they're not really withdrawn. They're strategic. They are very logical. They're very intelligent. They're practical. They're they're planners. You know, we we tend to like that, right, Capricorn? So, here's the thing. They're actually 
moving forward with a very beautiful love offer. It could be that if you were waiting on communication from someone, whether you're dating or, or waiting for something bigger, someone is moving forward with a pretty good offer. Uh, now, it's a page. It's something small. It's flirtation. It's asking you out. It's buying you dinner. It's maybe celebrating a small anniversary, right? It's something like that. But there's there's movement and love or there's a, a an expression, a show of emotion. All right. Tell me more. It could be with a uh, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be a single mother, specifically a female air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who has a uh, a child who's coming into to uh, <laughs> to make sweet sweet love to you, Capricorn. No, I don't know. <laughs> what what are they coming in to do? Let's let's help Capricorn out here. Let's see. All right. So the Empress, yeah. So mama vibes. Definitely a lot of mother vibes. Um, Okay, so especially for my Capricorns who are interested in females, that's sort of what's coming through here the most. Whether you are male or female, there's potentially a Taurus or a Libra who's coming in to make a warm offer to you, to ask you out, possibly for the first time or maybe to go out on like a second date. It's new-ish. Um, and so for my Capricorns who are married to a Libra, some of you might be giving birth to your second child or expecting uh, or trying to get pregnant. Again, especially with a second child is sort of what I'm seeing here. Um, so then give me give me some cards on Capricorn side. And Capricorn, I'll do a second message for you. Um, so what does Capricorn need to know about this person? And again, possibly Libra or Taurus, Ace of Swords. So <laughs> you're, you're ready and waiting to communicate. <laughs> or, or are you standing on guard? I, I could see that either way. Let's see. So then... Okay, so you may be divorcing your, your wife or there could be... Um, and, and I know this is kind of an unusual message and I'm not at all here to judge. I'm just relaying what I'm seeing. You may have tried to fix a marriage with pregnancy. And I think some of you realize that's not going to help. Like if anything, it's actually adding more stress. And again, obviously this isn't everybody's message. It is very specific, but why wouldn't I tell you? Because I do see it. So I would just be careful if you are currently in the process of going through a trouble in paradise, right? If you're in a marriage or a long-term relationship and it's not getting better, but you think you're, you're going to fix it with bringing it to the next level, whether that's marriage or babies or something, I actually think universe is saying, can we just think about this for a second? Like, like, uh, like we're, we're, um, what is that expression? Like, pump the brakes a little bit because it's almost like you're going the complete opposite direction in terms of the solution. So I'm not necessarily saying this is you Capricorn, but and I'm not trying to make this gender specific, but I am going to say, I just to be honest, this is for um, non same sex couples. So male and female partnership. Here's why. For my male Capricorns who are on the cusp of one, uh, sorry, my male Capricorns who are feeling either pressured or contemplating starting a family or moving in together or getting married, right? My male Capricorns, if you have been the one who's been hesitant about that, I, this is such an unusual message, but I do see potential energy of someone trying to get pregnant even though you might be under the impression that they're like take on birth control or something. So just be careful of that because I feel like there's an ultimatum um, or there's something that's, it, it's a little bit trickstery. I don't know how to say it. And I have to be honest, it's female energy. It's like, I'm going to make this big choice that involves the both of us, but I'm not going to consult my partner. So if it isn't pregnancy, Capricorn, it may have to do with your partner making a very important decision for the both of you without consulting you. It's happening on one or the other side. So again, it, I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think you guys get the metaphor. Tarot speaks in metaphors. Was it literal pregnancy for all of you? Of course not. But it's the idea of building something together where it's joint custody, right? So you should both be um, equally involved in this decision and it feels like somebody made like a power play almost like a chess move without consulting you and it really impacts you and your future your possibly stability your money so I would just be cognizant of that um what an unusual message that was but you know again no judgment just relaying as I see it so for others of you let's let's focus here again some of you are just talking about starting a family. I see that too. And there and there is equal bits of communication here, but somebody is wanting to move away from that conversation. So I'm going to say this, Capricorn, because there is earth energy in the Empress. This could be you too, especially for my lady Capricorns, right? Um, you may be wanting to discuss the idea of, again, moving to the next level, especially in terms of children. You have several cards of kind of fertility here for me. It could be that you're... 
counterpart, whether they are male or female, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, their mind is kind of strayed from that. They're starting to wander. If anything, they may be starting to like fly away. So even if the idea of you're planting the seeds to move in together or planting the seeds to be exclusive, to, you know, be committed to one another exclusively, I feel like you have someone who's getting cold feet. And on here, I do feel like it's the female energy who's like, hey, let's participate in this conversation together. What do you think? You know, with my warmth and my energy and my cup and my love, and this person's like kind of cold air energy like they're they're flying away they're literally headed in the opposite direction that's sort of how i'm looking at it so yeah i don't love this message capricorn you've had some rough readings lately which uh, you know it happens they go in cycles so you know it won't be rough forever it probably just has to do with astrologically what's what's happening with capricorn right now so I, I mean, Saturn is leaving Capricorn, so maybe that has something to do with it. Something that was once stable, it, it's it's moving. It's moving in the in the zodiac wheel. So, give me one more card on this. And we'll do a new one. The Three of Wands. Yeah. So again, very likely my my Lady Capricorns who are wanting to. Uh, Engage in a higher level of commitment, whatever that means to you, moving in, babies, w engagement rings, whatever. There's someone here who's either not, yeah, I'm sort of getting they're not even open to the discussion. They're very defensive of it because they're going the opposite way of, of the communication with the Ace of Swords. And, but then they're waiting for their ships to come in. So it could be this person who's not open to discussing anything further with you until they get news about their job, until they get news about their father's illness until they get news about their do you understand like this person's waiting on something major happening in their life and so this conversation what whatever it's about between the two of you it's very much taking a back seat to something happening again in their personal life i don't want to say they're being selfish but more or less it's like they should at least be honest with you that I'm not ready to talk about this instead of avoiding it entirely because that's sort of what I'm seeing here. It's almost like they're waiting to see how long you'll hold out, which again, I know some of you were hearing that like, no, but that's kind of what I'm getting. They're keeping you hanging. And the thing is, I did see the hanged man, but it didn't come out. You might be dealing with a fire sign too, an Aries Leo Sag, who's just there. They're hot and cold. One day they're in and one day they're not. But generally speaking, I, I'm sensing stagnancy on your person's part, Capricorn. So, yeah, let's throw some romance angels on it, but, eh, yeah, don't shoot the messenger. I know this is a rough message, but we'll do another one. <clears throat> so on, on potentially your end, it doesn't really matter, though. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, and then retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, I, I do feel like you guys getting away and almost, this, <laughs> this sounds like equally manipulative, but it's not, though. What I mean is that, if you two were to go on like a little couple's getaway or a couple's retreat or just take a weekend trip where you know you have six solid hours in the car together, this person can't run away. Do you know what I mean? And like, I don't mean to say you need to trap them into the having a difficult conversation, but if they're not, if they're not opening up to you and expressing the things you need to know, you have a right to know where your person stands, right? If you're going to be in a committed relationship with them. So even that can kind of work with my earlier metaphor of someone like faking the pregnancy. I don't know if it's that per se, but it's like trying to get your person's attention and forcing them to give you an answer. Even if that answer is, I don't know. Well, at least that gives you a little bit of clarity, right? versus imagining the worst on your person or the opposite rose tinted glasses of they'll commit they love me but on the inside they're like you know shaking in their boots I think you Capricorn need clarity from this person and I don't know if it's coming to be honest again I I, I would try and coordinate some sort of retreat where it's just the two of you interestingly enough Taurus had a very similar message it was like two people need to communicate but there's too many people in the mix you may live in a very busy household or have lots of roommates or you know the siblings are always crashing with you or whatever it's like just the two of you need together and have like this mind melt of like where are we at because I need clarity from you and for most of you I have to be honest it's your masculine who's not giving you clarity and it's incredibly frustrating so where is this masculine at Again, potentially an air sign or a fire sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, especially an Aries. Uh, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You also have love yourself first, express your love, unrequited love, and you deserve love. Yes. Yeah, so again, this isn't everybody's story, but I see this archer shooting in a different direction. The, this person, they're faced this way, but they're not facing each other. They're not even facing you to have this conversation. And I'll be honest, they do have unrequited love and love yourself first. So this person may not love themselves or not respect themselves. And by default, they're not able to love you or 
respect you. So I don't know. I have to be honest, for a lot of you, just based on their energy alone, I like what you're bringing to the table. I don't love what they're bringing to the table. They have grave hesitation. So it feels like a wasted effort on your part to sit around and hope that they get their, their life together and hope that they come forward to you. Let's pull a card on that. Um, what is in the in the next month or so? Is is Capricorn going to have any progress with this person? I just heard Aquarius, which is funny because you've been showing up in Aquarius's reading with like ten of cups. So again, it's not everybody's message, but what's the deal here? Nine of Pentacles, single ladies, yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I don't see it. There, I, there are cards, but with what they're being clarified with, I don't like. The idea of marriage and commitment and the soulmate gives this person severe anxiety. They're just not ready for commitment yet. That's it. I'm not saying they're a bad person. They're just, they're wandering around and seeing what's out there, what's available to them in this life. They're not ready to settle down. You may be dealing with someone who's an actor or someone who's trying to advance their career and the spotlight is very important to them, though that could be you too, Capricorn, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, it's like they're, they're, they're very comfortable in this world of me, 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 uh, you know, and, and singlehood. This is my single ladies card or single, single gentleman's card, however you want to say it. So the idea of graduating from being the single one and moving into a, a partnership, they're like, I'm good. Thanks. Like I, I'm, I'm very comfortable being a bachelor or a bachelorette right now. Like this person is offering me my, offering me their world, the feminine, right? But the masculine is like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Soulmates. What? <laughs> like, yeah, I just, eh. I, their person's a little bit immature. And here's the thing. They, it's like, they just have a lot of zest and energy that it's like, they need to get it out of their system before they're ready to settle down. Cause otherwise it's like, you're going to be pinning someone down into submission and then they're going to get, they're going to get restless and then they're going to up and leave. So wouldn't you rather know in advance? You know, I know that's a rough one Capricorn, but, um, we'll do another one for you. That was a long one. My goodness. All right, let's do what deck should we use? Yeah, let's do this one. I guess now let's do this one. Good old rider weight for my caps. All right. Let's connect with a new group of Capricorns. Capricorns. Your readings have been challenging lately, Capricorn. Even to me as a reader. I hope I did that justice, but can only do my best. All right. New group of Capricorns. New group of Capricorns. All right, here we go. Three on Capricorn's person. This, okay. This might be for new love. I'm sort of hearing that a little bit, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Okay. So a Scorpio Cancer Pisces has recently accomplished something very notable in their personal life or in their career life. And it, it didn't come to them easily. It's something they had to work very hard for. They may have finally saved up enough money to buy a house or saved up enough money to move to be in their city of choice or move to be closer to their parents. This person may have had to move their parents closer to them and they've been participating in getting all of the, the finances and I don't know, something major that's been kind of a, a pain in the butt. They've finally succeeded and accomplished it. It may have to do with a mother or a maternal figure uh, or it's just your Scorpio Cancer Pisces Capricorn. The thing is, I think it's positive though. Sometimes 10 of wands is an ending, but I'm actually thinking that now it's like they've freed up their time and they might be able to come towards you. So uh, clarify, please. Just give me one on this uh, 10 of wands, please. It's a victory. The closing out of this cycle that was very uh, endurance heavy, it took a lot of energy, it was exhausting. That's over and I think now we can chill. Now we can relax. Yes, now this person has made a, a choice and they're able to make some sort of offer to you, a, a practical offer that it, it's real, it's tangible. It's not, oh, someday, wouldn't it be nice if we got coffee? It's like, no, hey, I'm free. What day do you want to grab coffee? Let's pin down the details. Like, let's put it on the calendar. So I like that. And, and I mean, this could be you, Capricorn, showing up as an earth sign, right? All right, so then, ugh, I hate when my cards are upside down. We're switching decks. Reversals suck. <laughs> Sorry, they just do. It drives me nuts. This is kind of mean, but I'm going to say it anyway. When I watch tarot readers and they give you a tarot reading and literally all the cards are in reverse except one, I'm like, your deck's upside down. Like, all those cards should be in the upright. The one reversed should be, do you know what I mean? Like, or the one upright should be the one in reverse. I just, yeah, I don't know. That's just a personal preference, though. You know, everybody should read cards the way they want to. I don't like reversals. You can get the same messages with clarifiers. But that's just me. That's just me. Okay, here we go. 
So it's been a period of waiting for you, of rest. I don't know if it's anxious rest. I think just possibly relaxing or having some chill, some downtime. Thinking of writing or reaching out to someone, thinking of uh, writing or texting someone. Okay, so you have been waiting for someone. You've been waiting for someone to get clarity and move towards you. This is such a cool six of swords. He's faced the other way. So he's returning to something that he had to leave behind temporarily. That's what I see this as. And you, Capricorn, I love how you're shown as like the lady fair. That's cute. You've been waiting on this person to, uh, it's either come to their senses and come back to you. Or for most of you, though, it's like uh, accomplish some sort of incredible feat in their life, their personal life, their career life, their spiritual path, where now that that's done, again, it, it makes them available. It frees up their time to come in with some sort of offer. Um, so it looks like they will. I mean, this seems very positive. Page of Swords. You're, it, there's almost like a stalemate of who's going to communicate with who first. You're both thinking about it. Something about musicians. Any any musicians in the house? One of you might be very involved in music. Capricorns. Dave Grohl, David Bowie, Frank Turner, Jenny Lewis, Elvis Presley. So many great Capricorn singers. Musicians. You guys, you guys got it. So if you don't play an instrument, maybe you should take one up. <laughs> Anxiety is getting the best of someone here, though. Anxiety, Five of Cups, and then Knight of Cups. <clears throat> I actually sense that this is like a relationship that it's on again, off again, but it's not because you hate each other or that there's a lot of bad blood there. It's just life circumstance. It feels like life threw your person a giant curveball, or I'll say it this way, a giant opportunity, but it was like, hey, if you want this job, you need to go back to school for a year and get this extra credit or this extra course under your belt. And so it took them away from you, and it was kind of like, I do sort of sense that you guys may have gone through a temporary breakup, but it wasn't like, you know, I hate you move out. It was just like, all right, well, it's like, I don't, it was sort of this thing of, I don't want you to wait for me. Like I, but, but you were both kind of waiting on each other. Something in the mix here is very complicated. There's a, there's a feeling of being crushed by the complications of the world or uh, wild thoughts of anxiety of having too much pressure, too much stuff being put on your plate and disappointment. If somebody can get over that, whatever that is, or find healthy ways to cope with it, this person would free themselves up to, to love again, to make offers to, to romantic partners. I'm seeing a clover tattoo or a, clo a jewelry with clovers on it or someone who's very Irish, proud to be Irish, a Irish flag, something about that is coming through. Anyway, um... We, yeah, whatever this is, it's hindering this person's ability to move forward in love. So this is very likely between a water and an earth sign. I, I see that coming through very strongly. So it could be your water. Uh, yeah, for a lot of you, that's what I think it is. Uh, your water sign is going through something. I'd say annoying, but I think that would be an understatement. Your water sign is going through something major, upheaval, chaos. It could be they're dealing with a, an ill family member or, and I don't predict scary stuff. I'm just giving you examples. Like something is occupying this, this water sign's time. But yeah, the thing is they feel chemistry for you. <clears throat> this is a very good romance card. It's kind of like a sexy card too. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I think this person wants to come through and I think partly what's giving them sorrow and anxiety is that they want to be with you and they can't for some reason. There could be a great distance between you. And again, I I'm sort of getting for most of you, there was a temporary breakup where it was very like, bittersweet. It was like your, your water sign or you, you were going off to pursue your business dreams or some sort of you know career goals, whatever. I think this person's sad that they can't be with you, but they're also scared that they're going to lose you too. So it's like they feel extra pressure to wrap up this cycle quickly and whatever they have to do, whatever their mission is, wherever they are, it's like they want to do it faster so that they can come back to you. But I'm sort of getting at the same time, they can't rush this process because part of it is a spiritual process. And, you know, that time lineup is up to, is, it's divine timing, right? It's up to divinity or however you want to say it. So... There's chemistry here, especially for your water sign towards you. I don't know how you feel about the water sign. I feel like some of you are starting to lose hope that your water sign is going to come back or come through for you. So let's let's pull cards on that.
getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It's funny, when I read that, I, I almost like anticipated it saying you're going to learn more about each other. So something, either this emotional separation or this separation via physical distance, there's something you're both supposed to share with each other that it's like a, it's not a revealing of a secret, but there's something new that you're both going to learn about each other. And I, again, I think it will, it will bring a strength to, to the bond you already have, but okay, cool. I like this. Uh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Again, for most of you, just this picture alone bodes very well for me because the Six of Swords is usually, oh, they're moving on. Like, forget about it. They have mental clarity elsewhere away from you. Do you see how he moves on to get mental clarity and then he goes back to Capricorn? It could be an Aquarius you're dealing with too. Worth waiting for. Again, I never advocate putting your life on pause for someone Capricorn, but there's something about this where the love is there. The chemistry is there. If this makes sense to you, I would say there's a very good chance you're both thinking about each other. Flat out, you might even be messaging this person already if you guys had to move to different cities, but you're, you're trying to make it work long distance. I think it's going to be challenging. I think especially for your water sign, they're missing the heck out of you. But could this come together eventually? I think it could if you want it to. Um... So, yeah, I'm getting with, with this in reverse, somebody made the important decision and it did involve movement away. Again, it, it's some sort of career opportunity or going back to school or taking care of parents in another state, taking, taking care of children. I don't know what it would be. It was a head over heart decision. They had to do it because it's almost like it was their mission. It was their duty. It was, it was their spiritual path that pulled them away from you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's kind of what I see here. I, some of you might still be with this person. Some of you might be at a distance and wondering if, if you guys could start dating again. I think it looks good in the future, but there is a period of quite literally rest and wait. So honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You may have someone overseas. I don't know if they're serving in the military or doing some sort of, I'm hearing like government training. Um, this person may come to visit you over the holidays. Uh, I don't think it would be a total surprise, but them telling you that they bought the ticket or that they're coming, that would be a surprise. I don't think they're just going to show up on your doorstep, though they might. That would be kind of romantic. But um, yeah, I, you will see. <coughs> excuse me. You will see this person again. All right, Capricorn. Boy, that was complicated. <clears throat> All right, Virgo. A water sign. Were you dealing with a sneaky water sign? A water sign who is, who is vibrating? What does that mean? Water sign who is vibrating. So, oh, someone could have had like a really like intense spiritual, um, yeah, actually that makes sense. A water sign who had a very intense like spirit, I'm hearing like spiritual reaction to something. Interesting. All right, moving on. Virgo, Virgo. All right. Okay. A cosmic egg. So Virgo, you are wanting to protect something. Protect a secret or protect your child, possibly. This may even have to do with... Um, this is a very unusual message, but... Um, how do I even want to phrase this? There could have been an issue at work or something with... Uh, Virgo, if you have a child in school or someone, someone who's in your your kin, your family, whether it's chosen family or blood family, right? You understand what I mean? Your best friend, someone who you're very protective of. They, there may have been an issue with like racial discrimination and you're coming in like, oh no, you didn't. I see you protecting people uh, based on some sort of issue about race. I, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but that's instantly what I got from this. All right. Tell me more. Yes. This is about your love life. I promise. I promise. Okay. So possibly something with uh, a Leo who either you rejected them or they rejected you. I see the, the male person in this, and it could be same-sex couples, but there was a male who had to let, let you down very gently or vice versa. You had to let them down very gently. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. For most of you, it seems like the male said thanks, but no thanks, and it could have been a Leo. Um, because uh, uh, Seven of Cups says they had options. They, they, or they didn't know how they felt about you. And so rather than figuring it out, they were like, uh, like I don't have time to talk about my feelings. So yeah, for a lot of you, I think, especially my female Virgos, there was a male who had to let you down very gently. My nose is running all of a sudden. I'm sorry. Uh, very likely a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sag. The, uh, something about a moth to a flame. I think you were very drawn to this person. They were very beautiful. They were very magnetic. They were very sociable and pleasant. They were fun. They were outgoing. 
But I, I'm I'm sort of getting they had secrets though. They had like a, a kind of a dark secret that you weren't totally in on. In fact, that could be what this is too. I don't know what that issue of race had to do with it. I, I almost I don't want to say I regret saying it, but I don't know what to do with it. So I don't mean to leave you hanging. I guess it's just confirmation for those who maybe it was a, a different uh, couples of different ethnicities or cultural backgrounds, and maybe that caused tension in family dynamics. I don't know. Um, what is this, um, what is this, uh, snake protecting the cosmic egg? Okay. Universe blocked someone from moving forward with you because they were trying to protect you and your spiritual path. Something, yeah, the thing is I'm getting with this, obviously this isn't everybody's message, but for a lot of my Virgos out there, you were engaging with someone who had kind of a danger streak to them. And if it wasn't physical danger, like I'm not really getting abusive per se for most of you, this person just had kind of a, like a screw loose. Uh, like they weren't all there or their past behaviors, there was, I don't know if they did time in jail, or this or that. And I don't, I'm not judging per se. I'm just giving you the message that there was something you either didn't know about this person or you, you knew about it vaguely, but you didn't know all the details of what happened. Yes, like someone could have been arrested for something about like a, uh, or a court case regarding like racial discrimination or something like that. Yeah. You, quite literally, universe protected you. In this scenario, you're the cosmic egg. The snake is a positive card. It represents transformation, shedding the old skin. The old version of you accepted lowball offers in love. You were willing to entertain, especially male suitors, but it could be female, who... They just didn't treat you right. They told you what you wanted to hear, um, but they, they, they were tricksters. But the... They were telling you what they wanted to do, but they never made good on those promises. They gaslighting, I'm sort of hearing. Yeah, there was something very unusual about this, and I don't know what it was about it, Virgo, but you were drawn to it like a moth to a flame, and it was actually not for your best and highest good. I know some of you are still very tightly clinging on to this ex or this person and hoping that, you know, it's almost like, oh, well, they must have broken up with me because they didn't know how they felt. But I, again, I'm sensing some of you are like, but, you know, maybe they'll figure it out. And like you're maintaining hope for someone. But I have to be honest, if this is your message, it was a huge blessing that the universe forced this person out of your life because you would have ended up like more or less marrying the devil. That That's sort of what I'm getting from this. And I know that's a very harsh statement. I, I'm not hating on my Capricorns, which this, this could indicate there was a Capricorn involved here. It may also indicate you have a, a Capricorn or a Gemini or a Scorpio in your future that is going to blow this one out of the water. Like there's something much better coming in for you. But I think the temptation, the devil, right? Temptation here was so huge there would have been some major mistake in you engaging with this person even further. It could have even been something like um, they had a secret uh, addiction to drugs. They could have been... Um it could have been something like STDs that they weren't telling you about, or there could have been something like, um, yeah, like they could have gotten arrested for battery, like way back in the, like there was just something about this person where, again, I'm not coming down on them as they're evil, but they clearly have some stuff to work out in their personal life. And I see the universe as doing you a huge favor by them being like, nope. And like scooping you back up and being like, no Virgo, like almost, almost like a referee or not a referee. Um, but yeah, essentially like in a wrestling match, like someone pushing you back, like, no, do not engage further. Like go to your separate corners. I'm literally getting that. And you guys saw it as this, you know, curse. Why did this happen? And I love this person. And I thought they were the one universe is like, you have no idea. Like universe did you a huge favor. And I know this is hard for some of you to hear. Again, I I'm a firm believer in tough love. I I can, I can tell you all these beautiful things about the person in your tarot cards. I don't see that. Who's coming through is like, I don't like their vibe at all. There's something very shady. And again, there was a huge secret that you didn't know about. And thank goodness you didn't have to know about it because it would have put you in a very uncomfortable or tricky situation. Thank the universe and allow this one to go. Rejection is divine protection. You bet your ass it is, Virgo. That's what this is saying to me. However, for the happy side of this, Virgo, is that you have the lover's card coming up. So by you not engaging with this person who I know it was sexy and it was fun and they were funny and charming, yeah, they were a manipulator. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Again, you have something so much better coming in. So essentially the, the universe, the tarot cards are saying to me, 
Have faith that you have not been forgotten. I know some of you are going through a very difficult breakup right now, and you're you're kind of going through this dark period of, you know, why me? It's never my turn. This always happens to me. I mean, I'm going to pose it this way. You need to do, whether it's for 10 minutes or 10 days or 10 years, you need to go through a very serious period of introspection and ask yourself, what about this relationship was so alluring and intoxicating to you? Because it's going to pinpoint things in you, Virgo. It's highlighting areas you need to work on in yourself. Because there's something about their traits where it's not that you were like, ooh, that's toxic, I want it. But more or less, when you start to peel back the layers of why was I attracted to that person, you're going to see for, for a lot of you out there, it wasn't for the right reasons. I don't know if it was superficial or complacency. It was easier to go after that or it um, it was it made you feel okay about your uh, attributes that are less desirable. I don't know how else to put it. it. This was a twin flame or not. I'm not even going to say that. It was not a twin flame. This was a karmic. You were meant to go through this and learn something about yourself, but you were never meant to learn it by revealing this dark secret about your person. It was meant to turn you back to yourself and to love yourself more, to protect yourself more, to hold on to your energy, Virgo. So tell me about new love. I don't know what else to say about this other than I don't like it at all. Um, and it doesn't really matter what zodiac sign is because I think you, most of you will know if this is your message or not. Uh, the only major arcana I have is Leo. Um, okay, so tell me about new love with Virgo. Again, possibly a Gemini. You guys are both ruled by Mercury, so you would have that in common. Tell me about new love for Virgo. Some of you are going to have a wedding with a Capricorn uh, and, and you're already pregnant or I, I'm sort of getting there's a bun in the oven. Like there's there's something in the egg and we're protecting it. Um, so some of you may be revealing to your partner, again, especially a Capricorn or a Gemini that you guys are pregnant. Uh, yeah, okay. Others of you have a soulmate with a Capricorn or a Gemini. All right, so this is the part where it gets good. So I'm going to timestamp this here for those of you who skipped the other one because it, it was real dark. That was real grim. So Virgo, if you're just joining me now, we're talking about your soulmate with with Gemini and Capricorn and possibly, possibly babies. Obviously, that's not everybody's message, but that has soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Beautiful. That has good energy. Let's talk more about that. So whether you are single or already with this person, uh, you, again, you're going to have to do the detective work because there's clearly multiple people in the storyline here. I'm getting a, a wolf in sheep's clothing on the first one, just FYI. I'm sort of getting that metaphor. They were the big bad wolf. You just didn't know it because they presented like a lamb. They presented as warm and fluffy or not really that. It was more like bold and sexy. I'm almost getting model, like supermodel, actor type, you know, dashing leading man type. They There was like a treasure trove. It was like Pandora's box. The minute you open it, you were going to be like, what is this mess of crazy that I just got? And, and I don't mean to offend the cross watchers. This might not be you. This could be your Virgo, right? For the cross watchers. I'm just saying. Okay. So let's talk about new love. <clears throat> Or whatever this is. This, I'm just going to say this is happier. This scenario is much better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that expression, when pigs fly, I know some of you are, are going through it. I, and I do mean to be compassionate, uh, especially if you're disengaging from this. Some of you are going through it, but this is saying this whole idea of, oh, it's never my turn. You know, sure, I'll get married again when pigs fly. I'm getting that. It's like pigs are about to fly <laughs> in a positive way. I, I'm almost getting little storks too. So babies, there could be pregnancy on the horizon for some of you. Yeah, some of you have a very traditional Capricorn who it's like they want to lock it down and make you their wife or, or their husband, right? Yeah, there's wedding bells, their soulmate, and their, ba their babies in, in this spread. So I don't know if that's your story. Page of Cups, Two of Cups. Do you see how this is so much better? Like, this had so many, like ominous is what like I'm not even sure what the deal is here but it's like I don't want to know because the vibe I'm getting it's it's like physically making me want to like recoil from it it's not good so focus on this one don't be afraid to let go of something from the past to usher in something way better in the future but I will say make sure you're doing the work on yourself if you keep attracting the same type of like narcissist or whatever term you want to use you really need to look at yourself and understand what is it about me that's attracted to people who are so confident is that a desire or is that a, a quality that i desire in other people because i lack it myself okay well there you go you just solved your puzzle you need to work on being more confident right 
Am I attracted to people who are naturally just beautiful and suave and they look like supermodels? Okay, well, does that mean are you insecure about your looks? Do you need to have talks in the mirror with yourself and tell you, you know what I mean? Like you need to solve the puzzle pieces, not just be like, oh, I guess that didn't work out. Like this whole like naive, I don't know why I always attract narcissists. We're done with that. I'm giving you tough love, Virgo. We're, we're done putting the blame on other people of why they don't treat you better. Why don't you treat yourself better? That's going to unlock this amazing relationship that the thing is, the universe is like, they already have it. It's already written in your future, in your divine plan, if you believe in such. Universe has you. It's like, put Virgo down for wedding and kids and marriage and a house and a loving husband. Like, it's been noted, but you have to earn it. You have to work for it. So what work do you need to do on yourself to let the universe know, I'm ready for this one? Not so much this one. Do you understand what I mean? Uh, possibly a water sign that could be very good for you. Again, Capricorn and Gemini are the strongest here. I see a little bit of Scorpio, maybe Cancer or Pisces. <clears throat> I'm seeing bracelets. Do you have matching bracelets or do you make bracelets or something about a bracelet someone gave you? It could be one of those athletic ones. Do you remember when, when Lance Armstrong was a big thing where those like cancer bracelets, but then they made them for a bunch of like health things? That makes sense, Virgo. Something about a health bracelet. It could be a, what do you call those like little metallic bracelets and they balance your energy or something about like those Alex and Ani bracelets. There's like, a, there's something specific about a bracelet and it has to do with your soulmate. It could be a, something you have in common. You know, maybe you both love football or maybe you both love uh, zodiac signs or do you, something like that. There's something about a bracelet. Oh, did you? Oh my goodness, that flew. I'm excited to see what that is. Hold on. Hold up. The three of wands waiting for your ships to come in. Something, uh, and possibly with the bracelet, something nautical about a, an anchor or a, a, a ship, a boat. It, it could be on your favorite ocean or on your favorite lake or it could be a fish or something. Yeah, in fact, if you have a bracelet that has some sort of sea creature, that's double confirmation a water sign is coming in for you. You know, a fish, a crab, uh, it could be, I don't know, a sea snake, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, you need to learn to celebrate yourself and understand that whether you're with someone or not, you need to be happy and content just as you are. If you're constantly, I just did a, a post on this the other day, but it's so true. It, it's just such a good piece of advice that, you know, I, I've read. It's not my own creation, but you need to be content with where you're at. If you're always thinking, I'll be happy as soon as I have a husband, as soon as I have a career, you know, as soon as I have a fill in the blank, a puppy dog, those things are great. You should want them and desire them, but not to distract you from working on your happiness internally. Knight of Wands says you need to enjoy the fruits of life again. You need to be curious. You need to do things just for the hell of it. You need to have fun. You need to stop being so practical and sensical and, and perfectionist, right? I'm throwing Virgo stereotypes at you. I get that. You probably have an element of that in you. You're a Virgo. That's okay. You're allowed to be. That is your strength, but it's also your weakness. You need to compensate for having more fun, but the thing is you need to do it for yourself, not to impress a romantic partner. Go hang out by the water. It would be soothing for you. It would be very good for you. You have a water sign who you've already met who if like they're they keep coming back to check in on you and see if you're finally interested. That's what I get. Obviously, it's not for all of you, but I sense that there's already a water sign who's flirted with you or made it known that they were interested and either you rejected them or you were engaged or, or dating someone else at the time where you couldn't accept the offer. You have a Pisces who it's like they being around you energetically, they feel light as air. It's like they're flying. It's almost like you're their angel or something like that. Again, a water sign. I have three cards indicating that. Possibly a Sagittarius, though I have to be honest, some of you are uh, some of you are being told, why do you keep going back to the Sagittarius? Because you're going to get the same thing over and over. Again, I'm not saying all Sagittarians are players, but in this spread, I'm getting especially a fire sign. If it's not Sag, it could be Aries or Leo. Some of you have like a friends with benefits type thing with a Sagittarius or again, a fire sign. And again, it's like that, that insecurity, that need to feel like, oh, well, at least somebody wants me. Yeah, but that person who wants you is not a good person. Like... I just, I feel like you guys need to set a very firm rule to not, to not engage with that person anymore. Set yourself free from them to honor and respect your value. Show that you love yourself by shooting higher, you know, basketball, it circles the rim and it falls out the basket. All right, well, take a shot again. Aim higher, right? Do you get my metaphor here? Take a new shot. Take a new chance. Take a risk. Um... 
And I think somebody is trying to do this with you too. Somebody who you already rejected. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune reverse. There's already, I, I am getting very strong water signs or again, possibly a Sagittarius who is not a player. Um, someone or possibly an Aquarius is wanting to circle back and make an offer to you, but it's taking a lot of uh, pride or taking a lot of courage and it, uh, it could hurt, uh, hurt their ego, wound their pride because I think you already... Something about them, they think you don't like them or I don't know what. It's complicated with the water sign, but they're wanting to come back and make a second offer to you. Even Wheel of Fortune in reverse, though, is good. It's something working out in your favor, but the timeline, it's like it's a little bit off. It's a little bit shifty. I think Universe is trying to grant you the gift of time to like get your, get your ducks in a row. I could have used the get your you-know-what together. And the thing is, I'm not trying to punish you about this. I'm not trying to scold you. I get it. This was a tricky situation. It was karmic, but ultimately the lesson isn't about them and what they did to you. It's about how you react to people and being accountable for it. You have really nice cards here, but I sense that there's this on and off of wanting to let this go entirely and then kind of falling back to, oh, but I still think about them. So I'm not saying everybody from your past is evil. Clearly, you have two people from your past coming up or possibly a current, right? Oh, Virgo, it's just complicated. I, I don't have anything positive to say about this one. Um, the one who didn't know how they felt, but you're still kind of hoping they have a change of heart. The one who has a big secret that is not a healthy secret that I'm always getting like, Trust me, you don't need to know what the secret is. It's bad. And, and Virgo, I don't know what it is. If I did, I would tell you. I just keep getting, it's bad. Like, Virgo, it should not. Like, the, the snake is protecting you. Protecting your children. It, it, do you understand? Virgo, you had this. Oh, my God, I just got the chills. You had that reading come up. I think it was the last one I did for you. I've, I was reading for love and something. It was either you or Taurus. Something about a potential, like, um like ch uh, child abuse, which again, that's not really my territory, but do you understand what I mean? The universe came down to save you, to be like, no, he is not the one. Do not associate with him or her or whatever. Do you understand how there's a greater meaning to all this? And I know it's hard because part of you is like, I couldn't believe that about this person. They're so nice and they're so sweet. They're just, you know, they're just a little bit, you know, insecure. They're a little, mm. <laughs> again, rose tinted glasses need to come flying off we need to look at this from a different perspective I, I think it would do you very well to look to the future and not the past I do think there's a water sign who doesn't have creepy vibes I'm going to even say that C trying to make amends with you or make a peace offering or just get you to engage with them in a more romantic sense if you guys have never done that before a lot of you are waiting on a fire sign and and the universe is saying nope of course, not all of you. I'm not saying all fire signs are bad. But again, you have to use your intuition. You'll know if this is your message. Um, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is here, and under that is the sun. And judgment, when you make better judgments for yourself, good things come in. When you put yourself, Seven of Wands, above the rest, when everyone else is below you and you're honoring yourself and your intentions and your heart and your value first, that's when universe ushers in the good ones who will contribute to your self-love versus taking it away from you, stealing your pride, stealing your value, you know, not treating you like the badass person that you are. Let's shoot higher. Let's aim higher. Let's ascend in our spiritual journey. Virgo, I'm exhausted. Are you exhausted? Ugh, I just want to give you guys a hug. This was a rough one, but, I, you know, I, I have to have faith it's going out to someone else. Some of you have a Pisces that you're letting go of, and there might be a new Pisces coming in or something about a Pisces. Um, and that is your divine counterpart, is it not? Yeah, it is. So, hey, Pisces. Okay, uh, that's what I got for you, Virgo. Please like, share, subscribe. That would be so great. Uh, if not, I'll see you next time for uh, more tarots. Thanks for joining me, guys, and happy holidays. Bye.